If you're struggling with consistency in spec tennis, or you're just looking for a simple effective strategy that's gonna help you win a lot more, then I really want you to pay attention here. I want you to start focusing on hitting the ball cross court a lot more often, even if that means every single time. When you hit the ball cross court, you're hitting to the longest part of the court. So there's more room for error because you're hitting to a bigger part of the court than if you were to hit the ball straight ahead. Number two is you develop a mindset of playing the ball early when you aim cross court. And the good thing about playing the ball early is if you're slightly late, the ball is still in the court. And so if I'm trying to play the ball early, I'm aiming for a target right over here, but I miss it, now maybe the ball comes towards the center. The problem with hitting down the line, hitting straight ahead, is if you hit the ball on time, you hit your target, but if you hit it late, now it's going outside the boundary of the court. So it's another safety layer when you focus on trying to play the ball early. Reason number three for hitting the ball cross court is you often force your opponent to take more risk because if they want to change direction of the ball and not simply hit it back cross court, they're taking a risk every time. So you hit cross court and their option is either to hit the ball back cross court, which you like because you can just keep playing the ball in the same direction. It's less risk on your part. Again, number one and two, you're playing the ball to the largest part of the court. But if they decide to change direction and hit the ball straight ahead from here, they're taking a lot of risk and they're probably gonna miss a lot more shots than if they simply go back cross court. So you're kind of baiting your opponent to try to change direction of the ball because that's much more challenging physically to change direction than to send it back from where it came from. Number four is you're hitting over the lowest part of the net when you hit cross court. Because on a standard court, the net is lower in the center than it is on the sides. So every time you hit the ball straight ahead, you're hitting over a higher net versus if you hit cross court, you're hitting over the lowest part of the net, which gives you even more margin of error. Number five is when you hit cross court, you have to recover less to be in a good position than when you hit down the line, especially in singles. So here's a singles example. Let's say I hit the ball cross court from here. My ideal recovery position based on the ball ending up here is slightly to the right of the center. And so that's not that great of a distance for me to run to have to recover. Versus if I hit that ball straight ahead instead so say I hit this ball straight, it's running into this text, but you get the idea. The ideal recovery position based on hitting the ball straight would be slightly to the left of the middle. So now I'm having to run a greater distance to be ready for my opponent's next shot. And if I don't make it to here in time, my opponent can simply hit a cross court shot that makes me pay and puts me on defense. And number six, the final reason I'll give you today is you can make your opponent pay without taking risk. And what I mean by this is if you're hitting the ball cross court and then they send that ball back down the line, but they don't recover very well. Let's say they're the pink player right here. They just hit down the line and maybe they get to the middle of the court or they get slightly offset from the middle of the court. This is not a good position for them to be in. They actually need to be over here on their left side of the court. So you can send that ball back cross court at a good angle without taking a lot of risk and put them under on defense or even win the point from that situation. So just redirecting that ball back cross court wherever they hit is gonna get you a lot of free points. It's gonna get your opponents to take a lot of risk because they feel they need to change direction instead of hitting the ball back right to you every time. And you're gonna frustrate them. You're not gonna make a lot of mistakes. So again, a quick recap. When you hit the ball cross court, you're hitting to the longest part of the court so you have more room to miss it. Also, when you hit cross court, you have the mindset that you wanna hit the ball earlier to make it go cross court. And so if you happen to be late, the ball drifts a little bit away from the cross court, but it's still not out of the court. So there's a layer of safety there. When you hit cross court, your opponent probably will get tired of hitting back cross court to you. They'll try to change direction. And when they do, they're taking a lot of risk themselves every time they try to change direction of the ball. When you hit cross court, you're also hitting over the lowest part of the net, so you're taking even less risk. Also, when you hit cross court, you have to recover less after you hit. Because of the geometry that you're creating, you wanna stand slightly on the same side that you hit the ball from. 
versus if you hit straight ahead, you have to move to the opposite side of the court to be ready. This is the singles example. And finally, number six, if you hit cross court and your opponent hits straight ahead and they don't recover very well, let's just say they're standing in the same spot or they move a little bit to the middle, now you have an opportunity to win by hitting that ball back cross court. Thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to let me know in the comments if you like these whiteboard videos. It's snowing outside today, so I couldn't make an on-court video, but I think this is pretty informative as well.